Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing a video inspired by Dolly Mama Beauty. She did a video all about brands that make her binge, and Amy described this as like brands that when they go on sale, like you cannot resist them. And so I have three brands that I want to talk about today. Before we jump into that, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like these kinds of tag videos. And if you haven't and you'd like to, hope you would consider subscribing, hitting that little bell icon so you don't know if whenever I post any new video every single Monday through Friday. We got the rose ears back out. I actually had to glue this one back on because it fell off. Oh, I know. Sometimes life is hard. And that was heavy sarcasm, just putting that out there. <laughs> I also deep conditioned my hair this morning and it's actually looking pretty nice. I like it. Okay, anyway, on to the actual tag. So the way Amy described it is that these are brands that either always have sales or whenever they have sales, you cannot resist them. So the three brands that I came up with were Elf, The Balm, and BH Cosmetics. So let's jump into BH Cosmetics first. Literally, they always have a sale. There is not any point in time that BH Cosmetics is not on sale. I can look at their website right now. Let's pull it up. Right now they have a Black Friday came early sale, which is every some things up to 35% off. They have free shipping on orders 50 plus, And they had another sale that I just saw on their brushes, I think. Yeah. So they literally always have a sale. I'm on their email list, because if you do, you get another coupon for your first order. But... Literally every day I get an email about a sale. What first really tempted me were their eyeshadow palettes because they have some amazing eyeshadow palettes. The Carly Bible palette, the Zodiac palette. And at the beginning I was like, I just want all of these. And there are so many sales. It was just like, when, why not get them all? Uh, recently, I haven't really been looking at their new releases. I know they have something called the Royal Affair palette and that one was kind of an eh looking palette. I know they have a ton of brushes. I've never actually tried their brushes before. I have so many eyeshadow brushes and face brushes and makeup brushes. I don't really need to get any more. But I was thinking of doing um, some more research on some more affordable makeup brushes for you guys. Because my favorites are the Sigma brushes. And I know that's not in everybody's budget because they are a bit expensive. So I'm thinking of... Because they're on sale. <laughs> I'm thinking of either getting some brushes from BH Cosmetics, from Wet n Wild, or from e.l.f. So I'm, I'm thinking about starting to do that kind of research for that video. But the, the point being, BH Cosmetics is always on sale. And I'm always tempted, even if there's nothing in particular that I want, if I get that sale email or from their website, like I start scrolling and scrolling, I'm like, oh, this is cheap. Oh, this looks great. Oh, this is affordable. And then you get a coupon code, and then you can sometimes get free shipping. It just, it like snowballs. It snowballs. <laughs> so that's why BH Cosmetics like always makes me binge or want to binge. I have to really hold myself back from doing BH like hauls because I know that I could just keep buying from them. The next brand I want to talk about is The Balm. So they have twice a year, I think it is, they do this big half off sale. Everything on the website 50% off. Every single time that sale comes around, I really say they don't announce them. They, they'll, they'll drop the day of and they'll say, you have 24 hours, go. Everything's half off. Every single time I find out about it, I place an order for something. Either I'm refilling my favorite face powder, the Sexy Mama translucent powder, or I'm trying something new, dropping one of their eyeshadow palettes, or I'm trying their foundation, which was really great. No matter what, when that sale comes, I'm there. I'm on it there's an order. <laughs> because I used to wait until the bomb came onto Hot Look, which is like the flash sale site for Nordstrom Rack, but they don't go that often anymore. And actually the prices during their half off sale were even better than what you could find like at TJ Maxx or at Nordstrom Rack or on Hot Look. So that sale I really think is worth it if you want to try something new out from the brand or if you want to stock up. I always stock up on those face powders. Lord help me. <laughs> But that's something, that's literally like a sale I cannot resist every single time. <laughs> the last brand that I want to talk about is e.l.f. So I know e.l.f. also does maybe once a year. They do a big half off sale. I think I did a video about it last year or a couple months ago. I'll throw that up in the cards if you want to check it out. But whenever that half off sale comes, 
I do the same thing that I do like with BH. Like I'll scroll through the site, be like, oh, I can stock up on this. I can do this. I want to try this. I want to try this, 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 this. Because it's so much easier to pick out a few like things to try when they're all half off. Because <laughs> then like, I don't know, I feel hesitant about picking random things up to try if they're full price and knowing that I probably can't return them. But when they're half off... Like, I'm just like, ah, there's something in me that is just like, oh, it's half off. Like, you could try all this stuff. You're going to have so much fun. You're going to do this. You're going to do that. Ugh. So during Elf's half off sale, I do jump on and get a few things. I don't know when their next sale like that is going to be, but if you guys want an updated like favorites video, I'm going to try to do a full face of Elf before their next sale, but I have no idea when their next sale is. <laughs> and I only have enough products, I think, for like half a face, so I need to pick up a few more products in order to get that full face of Elf. I did, however, just post a full face of Wet n Wild, and I do have a full face of Milani, so I'll throw the most recent one up here in the cards if you would like to check that out, and hopefully I'll throw a playlist together. I don't like making playlists until I have like three videos to put in them, but I will make a playlist once the Elf video comes out. I will throw up an honorable mention in here. This is a brand where I used to jump on every one of their sales and I used to like buy a lot of things and I would just jump on them. But now I don't. I hardly ever really buy anything and when I do it's one palette here, one palette there. And I'm just really more critical of the brand as a whole. And that's ColourPop. Back when like ColourPop first became a thing and they started doing sales literally whenever there was a ColourPop sale, I feel like myself, along with a lot of other people, would jump and it didn't matter what you bought. It was just all affordable and so you would just throw a whole bunch of things in your cart, a whole bunch of super sock shadows, a whole bunch of palettes, a whole bunch of like lipsticks. That's how I ended up with like 30 ultra matte lips. That's how I ended up with like 20 super shock shadows and if you saw my last declutter, I got rid of most of those. I'm just a lot more critical of the quality of ColourPop products and I'm also, even though I talk about how I do jump on sales and binge a bit, I'm definitely a lot more responsible with my spending and I know what I like makeup wise and I know what's going to work for the most part. So I'm, I'm just being more critical of my purchases nowadays and ColourPop binging like that was definitely something I used to do that I just completely cut down on because at the end of the day I was binging and buying all this stuff but then it wasn't that great and I was decluttering all of it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you Amy for coming up with this awesome video idea. It was, I seriously, like the idea, the video ideas that you come up with are incredible. Like you're just so creative. I love them and I always just jump on and do them as soon as I see you do them. So thank you so much. If you guys want to do a video like this, please do let me know. Let Amy know. I'll throw her channel up in the cards and down in the description box as well. And if you don't have a channel, just let me know in the comments below what brands make you binge the most. Thank you again for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.